I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here at the Tropical Update on this Sunday afternoon, August 11th. As of the 4 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center, we now have potential tropical cyclone 5. Now, the reason why the National Hurricane Center is calling this a potential tropical cyclone is now we can issue advisories on it. So, watches and warnings can be issued downstream. There's already a tropical storm watch issued for parts of the Leeward Islands, and a track can be issued as well. And I'll show you that track in a second. Right now, maximum winds at 30 miles per hour, pressures at 1,010 millibars, and it will likely strengthen as it moves to the west-northwest, likely becoming a depression by early tomorrow morning, a tropical storm by the afternoon tomorrow, still a tropical storm over the Leeward Islands, but become, could become a Category 1 hurricane by the afternoon on Wednesday close to Puerto Rico. So we'll likely see tropical impacts there. Then it will turn to the north, then northeast. The reason why it's expected to make that turn is a strong trough is will sit over the east coast of the U.S., allowing for it to turn out into the northern Atlantic. So staying well off the east coast of the U.S. and away from the Gulf of Mexico as well. But we'll likely see impacts in Bermuda by the end of the work week and into next weekend. So we'll be watching out for that throughout this week. The next name on the list is Ernesto. Again, we just had Debbie. And then the next name after Ernesto is Francine, then Gordon. You can also view the latest on the tropics on WKRG.com. We have our hurricane map room where you can always view the latest tracks on any tropical system.